Okay, hole seven here, par three, 171. Let's go see what it is. This par three is legit. This is a really good golf hole where this pin is. It's like tucked back right. And if you come anywhere short right at all, like you're coming down in the, into the valley and you're gonna make a triple. I think in one of our videos, I think when you were on my channel, I hit it down there, remember? I was like three under. Yeah. And I hit it down there and just made a mockery of it. Yeah. I think I made triple. But I like that this hole is like that. It's a really good quality golf hole. Cool tee box up on this hill. I really like these elevated tee boxes. Looks yeah. Really nice. It's pretty sweet, man. It's a, it smells good out here. We kind of had some drizzle this morning. It's probably the first time it's rained in San Diego in like four months. So 172. So this is going to be even more difficult because normally this hole's downwind and you can kind of just send it up really high and then let the wind push it towards the hole. But when you're fighting the wind, this becomes even more of a difficult golf shot. So I'm going to hit a seven iron. I'm going to have to flight this thing. And I have to flight it with a cut, which is really going to be fun to do. Whew. Nice trajectory, Come medium on. draw right to center of the green. Yeah. Pin high. Yeah, that's a really that's yeah. a great shot. I think you take that every time. You know, 100%. it was it's kind of like really straight. Didn't kind of bleed, but you know, if you over bleed it, you're so dead. So it's like, I think subconsciously you just kind of go, huh, nah, hit that that's thing straight. That's a great shot. Oh yeah, that's, that's how you, they got played. That's a ten out of ten. Yeah, I wish the camera could do it justice how tucked that looks. Yeah. Like, that's a that's a tour shot. I think. Yeah, definitely. We got to putt at it, and if you're putting well, then that's makeable. You know. Hey you guys, Gabriel Wright here, representing the Movement Tours Improvement, and welcome back to the Player Profile Program. We showcase golf influencer stories, sticks, and score with my good friend Blair, now starting part three, one under through six holes. Just teed off on hole number seven, you guys. Throw that video a like, comment down below, subscribe. Blair, how's the day going? Day's going good. Out to a little bit of a choppy start with a couple sketchy short game shots and a, a bad bogey on hole three, but uh, you know, turning around with a couple long putts. No more bogey bucket for Blair. Absolutely, you guys. Thanks for Steel Keenan for allowing us to come out here and film. Go check out the links down below. Appreciate you guys. Let's go. What's your name, brother? Humberto Veracruz de la Caravaca. But Woo! Just call me Manny Shorter. Ooh, gracias. Gracias, moving, amigo. Moving toward improvement? Yeah, moving towards improvement. Is that one word or? I like that. Man. MTI Golf. Moving toward improvement. Moving towards that. improvement, yeah. Good stuff. And uh, I, got, I, got five, I got 550 videos up from 10 years. Nice. Yeah. Appreciate right, you, Spencer. Right, appreciate like you guys. That, I like that shirt, man. Thank, Thank you. you. We'll definitely yeah. look it up and support you, man. Hey, appreciate Take you care. guys. Have fun. Hey, I'll put you guys in this video. Cool, bro. I'll look it up. Uh, it'll probably be up in a couple weeks, but MTI yeah. Golf, you'll find it. All right, cool, bro. Okay. <laughs> that was nice. Yeah. I was my brothers and my future brother in law. We were in Vegas a couple weeks ago. And um, a kid fucking watched Formula Golf was in, we went to the Bellagio Buffet and he was in there and he That's was all cool. like, I watch your videos. It's and I was actually, like, it's pretty cool. It's pretty wild. You run into a lot of people at a lot of yeah. different spots. Especially if, you, especially if you're also around golf, it's obviously a lot easier. Yeah. But even still then. But running into people at the zoo or in a buffet at That's, Las yeah, Vegas. That's crazy stuff. Yeah, you're like, whoa. Um, this is an interesting putt. This is kind of like a, it looks like it wants to go left or right, but I don't think it does. It, it, or at least it doesn't that much. I got a good feeling about this one, Gabe. I really think, I'm trying to like go into my memory banks of how many times I've had this putt and remember what it, what it was doing. Okay, where are you playing it? I'm gonna play this thing like inside left. Get on your line. Oh, oh yeah. my gosh, did you see that? It like hit something and went left, huh? Yeah, and it went back on line. Excellent. It was going away. Great putt. <laughs> Can I see that on camera? Yeah, it was going away. It hit this right here, and it went like this, and went boop. It kind of looked like it was gonna still break left, and then it really shot left when it hit that thing. Oops, sorry. You're dominating these par threes, nice huh? Nice putt. Um, Action. Um, so I officially do not have to worry about the bogey bucket. Uh, which is really, really freeing. And um, so 
This hole is fairly, it's way downhill, as you can see, Gabe. It, it drops maybe, I don't know, 50, 60 feet. Uh, into the wind today, pretty hard. So you can let this get away from you. So I'm gonna have to squeeze a three wood and try to like pelt it as low as I can, kind of. So okay. hit this fairway, it turns into a birdie hole, even though that pin's a little different. The problem is, is I only have a mic on me right here, you know? Uh, it'll, it'll pick it up. All right. I'm gonna try to like try to stinger this thing. Blair's gonna try. I to wouldn't stay right there. I'd, I'd get down a little bit. Blair's, Blair's gonna try to sting us above my head. Yeah, there you even go. Even though the mic's on my chest, so he's got to hit this pretty close to me. <laughs> I'm trying to see if we can hit it, get a cool noise. I like to dead top it at you. Is this? Am I safe right here? Yeah, you're safe. Okay. There's no way I hit you there. I'm aiming a little bit left of you too, okay. unfortunately. Well, it's on the right, right side of the fairway. Needs a bounce though. Oh, yeah, it's stuck in there. On the side hill? Yeah, I mean, it's like three feet off the fairway. I'm 132, so it's a bad yardage. 132, Blair's ball sitting up in the rough. The ball's above my feet by about what, a foot? Yeah, more, more than that, two feet. So the goal is to not cook this into the water when you're here. Yeah. So this thing's gonna turn. But you know, you also don't want it to jump because you can get a cook jumper really easily. So I'm gonna hit a club that I feel like shouldn't go long, my gap, my 52 degree. And if it comes out a little bit hot, then I might be able to get it to the, get it back there. But if it comes out dead, I'll probably be in the front of the green. But I'm aiming way right. Ooh, you know what? I think I might have to hit a pitching wedge. I don't like hitting these irons out of the rough too often because like I do I just feel like I'm gonna get a jumper every time. Because mm -hmm. these irons yeah, are swing softer, be Yeah. Better. These irons are nine years you old. Chop down a little bit on it. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Pretty. Go a little. Oh Land in the front and land in soft. Okay. That wasn't bad though. It was a good shot, uh, yeah. about 40 footer, but safe play. Okey now dokey. Blair's had a YouTube channel up called Formula Golf, and he's been intermittently um, updating people with videos. And yeah. obviously his main priority is playing, and so obviously he doesn't want to take too much time away from that, especially now that he has the resources to do that, and doesn't want to spend a lot of time editing and filming. Um, yeah. You know, just got to put his own priorities first. Respect that. Blair, do you think there's um, been some benefits to you of making your YouTube channel? Like what, are, what have been some of the benefits of doing well, your YouTube channel? I have got to meet a lot of people and run into a lot of people in all types of different places, which is really cool. But that's also from being involved in YouTube with you and then, you know, Be Better Golf, Golf Every Second, you know, like you get to meet a lot, of, and Golfholic, so you get to meet a lot of like the YouTube community in golf, I think, is really, really uh, supportive of each other for the most part. I mean, like... It's nice that you can reach out to other YouTubers and be like, hey, you want to film a video and collaborate? And then you kind of jump into their little world. And I think that's really cool. Um, I wouldn't have been able to do a lot of things. Like I set up some GoFundMes that, get, that allowed me to do a lot of really awesome experiences courtesy of YouTube. And, uh, you know, some we, of your viewers. We got one to do that one to, for you to go to Hawaii. Exactly. It started with that. Yeah. You know, and then when the China tour got canceled a few years ago, I mean, I raised a lot of money doing that, which was really cool. But even... How much Unfortunately, money did you raise doing that? I think I, we, I raised like almost two thousand dollars or wow. close to it. Yeah, but then the the tour canceled. Gotcha. Because they canceled it that year, and so I ended up using it on regular tournaments. And two thousand dollars isn't much in regular yeah. tournaments, so that was a big time bummer. But uh, so that was cool. And then I also got help to go on my recent trip to help pay for a lot of travel expenses because the my current sponsor just paid for the entry fee. You know. So um, yeah, like stuff like that. Like I, I think the the meeting the meeting people is is always really cool and being a part of a youtube community and a youtube golf community is really cool but for the most part like i find myself like i just don't really want to do it like I, it gets in the way a lot i i felt like when i was in asia i kind of got in the way a little bit took some focus off of some things put more added pressure on myself because i felt like i needed to prove something or like always like i owed it to people to be like hey I, this is what i'm doing you know, I'm just not really that social of a person in real life. Yeah. So I think that kind of bogs me down. So I, I will, I'll still post updates, but not very often anymore.
Cool, you guys. And I've been saying this a lot, is I think the new paradigm is not competition, but collaboration. And Blair's 100% right. The YouTube community is very welcome to doing videos with each other. And we need each other to make videos and make content with. So it's not about competition and being better, uh, but actually working to together to help everyone grow. And then you actually get to build a community with your viewers, like Blair has said, and they actually help you out with GoFundMes or tournaments or you know, for me and building my MTI tribe, and I appreciate all you guys and the support. So that's why I'm really trying to be that catalyst and spark for you guys to start your own YouTube channel, um, create your own miss, mission, message, and movement, and lead your own thing, and a lot of beautiful things can, can come from that. All right, I'm calling the bomb squad, Gabers. Blair has got about a 60-footer here. This sucker is Long John Silver. I think I have a chance. If Blair puts this within a three-foot circle, I'd be very impressed. Break, break. Ah. All right, about that three foot range. That's about a nine out of 10 right there. Kind of hit, hit something in the first half of that putt, I think. Yeah, hit your putter. <laughs> That's the first thing it hit. Oh. You know, I think that's the hardest thing with this putter that I have now is lag putting. It's like the worst part of my, gotcha. my putting situation. It's just harder to control speed when, you ha when you're not using so much hands. His hands is where the touch comes from. Okay, nice putt. Thank you. Dangerous hole to hit driver on. This three was probably to play, but since I don't have to worry about the bogey bucket, I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay, hole nine. Blair is what, two under? Two under par. I'd like to, like to birdie this one. Oh, if I nine. hit this fairway, I can birdie it. 404 yards. You going for the left fairway or right? Uh, there's only one fairway. There's like a lower fairway and an upper fairway, so the upper fairway is where I'm going. Okay. But I'll be taking it over the lower fairway to get there. Okay. And he piped this sucker. Yeah, best that was the best, the day. best one of the day. I think it was mashed. High straight ball, low spin. That thing was killed. All right, fairway time, baby. All right, Blair, what do you got? I got 106 okay. into the wind. Um, I got a sand wedge here. I'm going to try to play this maybe like one, play at 115, but it should land around 110, and I'm hoping that it rips back. Okay. Because he's going to I got my 56 degree. Okay. Okay, this is looking good, just right of the pin. It's got a carry, got a spin. Well, it's coming back a little bit. Yeah, it's okay. like pin high. Just good. the wind is in and off the left, so I didn't get that turn around that I wanted. Got about 15 feet. Shot. Got Gabriel Ryder here hitting his first shot in a while. He's gonna hit a P wedge. You think I can get this inside of you? Um, I do. If I do actually think you will. I think I could. I mean, I'm like, what, 14 feet? Yeah. I think you can get that inside if you hit a good shot. If I hit it, good. I need a glove. You know me and my gloves. I love my Dressed gloves. in all black. Sneakers. I gotta figure out how to aim this thing. Oh. Hold on. Just follow my divot line. That's right of the hole. Okay. Oh, a little thin. Could be really good though. It's gotta sit. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, it's stuck. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. Then the win, baby. Boom! All right, you guys, so here's my ball. Landed right there. I'm about, what, six feet, Blair? Yeah, six feet right up the hill. Maybe six feet. Blair is actually pretty good himself, maybe about 12, 13 feet. Yeah. I put about half the distance, first shot of the day. <laughs> That's why I do the filming. I want to see you make that putt. It's be a nice little finish right here, huh? Part two and three, birdie two out of three holes each yeah. time. Well, you, have you seen all the putts that I've made? They've all been like almost double breakers. Yeah. Except for that one that was severely left to right. But yeah, I want to say this is right edge and just like a gradual break. Okay, where are you playing this, Blair? It's going to be just outside on the right. 
think if I keep the speed up, that's how you make this putt. Okay. Blair McKeithen to win the Masters. This is the biggest putt of his young career. Biggest putt. Can he commit? He hit it on his line, but he didn't keep the speed up. Oh, and it's going to a playoff with Tiger Woods, and he is dead and dusted. Okay, what'd you shoot, Blair? Uh, 33. All right. You won. I did win. That's right. I'm What's my prize? Probably going to give you that tea claw. Sweet. I would love that tea claw. Okay. I'll I actually wait. think that's a really cool, yeah. clever little idea, because I have plans on using that for short game practice. Straight in. Is I it going to go straight. left at all? I, it might go left. But I think if you hit this firm, straight in's good. It shouldn't Is it recording? More. Yeah, it's recording. So inside right, if anything, maybe? Inside right, if anything. But you know, it's obviously going to be a trip because my putt just went right to left. But I think it, I think it is inside right. Give uh, it a rider. i play straight in firm. With an arm lock. Final hole at Augusta to win the Masters. Let's see if I can aim this fucker. The biggest dream of his life. He's already cussing. <laughs> <laughs> Really deliver it here. Three practice strokes. Stepping into the putt. Must be nervous. Oh, he hit it right in his line, and he got it! Gabriel Ryder wins the Masters! Boom! Let's go! How's it feel, Gabe? How's it feel? Hey, first shot of the day in the fairway, put to six feet right below the hole. Use the first putter with the arm luck, and uh, what are you gonna do with your prize money? Two point one million dollars. Um, I think I'm going to go to strip club tonight. Oh, that actually was not the answer I was expecting. A lot of people don't expect it, but I love the strip club. Okay, titty bar for Gabe. Hey, you guys, thanks for watching that part three of this course challenge. Thanks to my good for Blair showing us around this course, playing some good golf. What'd you shoot, Blair? 200? 200 par. 200, nice going, you guys. Make sure you guys comment down below, like this video, subscribe, leave any questions you have for Blair, follow us on Instagram, all links down below. Thank you, Steel Canyon, once again. t cloth for the giveaway. Movement towards improvement, wristbands as well in the description, you guys. I appreciate you. Blair, let me give you some last words. All right. Butter. All right, Blair, anything you want the world to know? Well, if you guys want to keep an update, uh, get a little bit of updates here and then on my channel, follow Formula Golf and subscribe. I, will be, uh, I won't be posting a whole bunch, but I think I might have a little something for you when I'm in Europe, just give you guys updates on how the pr progress is going. I got a long journey ahead of me, and I hope to bring you along for the ride. Everybody, thank you for the continued years of support. Appreciate you, bro. MTI, no lie. Till I die, bang, bang. Okay, you guys, so Blair, is the champion. I forgot to give him his prize and he won and he won a prize. So I asked I told Blair, give me the I told Blair I don't have a prize for him. And so he said, we just, you know, I just introduced him to the tea claw. And he's like, I actually really like that thing. I could use it for chipping. And so I was like, all right, if you break par, you get one of the tea claws. So we're still doing a giveaway, but Blair, you get tea claw. I really like this company. They're San Diego based. Um, I'm stoked on them. The the thread is really high quality. Yeah. The spikes are high quality. Um, it's just nice branding. It's yeah. just really well done. The, I, I'm I'm really happy with this. I can already think of multiple things I could use for uh, around the greens. Yeah, you beautiful. know, with lag drills, with uh, chipping drills. Put it, make a little square that I can chip Rated into. It, yeah. yeah. I mean, that that's Absolutely. exactly what I had in mind when I saw it. So I'm actually really happy. I shot on the par and took this with me. T Claw, appreciate you. Thanks, T Claw. Thank you, guys, Blair. Thanks again. Let's do this. Keep on grinding, everybody.